So in today's video, I want to bring to you what have killed so many people. Yes, they neglected it and it killed them. They neglected it and they died because of it. So we need to watch this video so that we will have a deep understanding of what I'm about to say. Let's take a look at this video. Pray whatever you ask God for this first October. Right. We prayed that first of November. November I took it. Wow. And the baby came. I never got to the hospital. I was in my event till I get back to me. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Ah, that is not hey, that's yes, baby. Yes. 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 And I decree the God that brought me to multiply in his favor, is multiplying his strength. God has turned around. Yes, I know you may be thinking, what is this boy trying to say? What is he trying to point out? Is there any wrong thing with wearing shorts? You know, what is what is he trying to point out? But no, I'm not going in that direction. I want you to notice something. This is Pastor Jerry Eze. He's one of the most busiest of all pastors of this present time. Most busiest. If you are an SVPD and you understand, morning, afternoon, and night, he's leading prayers, attending meetings from one meeting to the other, and he's also reporting on duty every morning. For prayers but this is him working out amidst all the busy schedules he still got time to work out in another clip you see him in the gym gymming burning fats the scripture says bodily exercise profited little and he's not allowing that little to go over him no he need to get that profit yes he's very powerful a notable man of god you see miracles mind-boggling miracles no but there are things prayers won't do like working out Bodily exercise profited little, and he's ready to grab that little. He, he doesn't want that little to go over him, no. Every day, he will work out. Every day, he will acquit his duty. Every day, you see him doing all he's supposed to do, and he also has time to work out. He's not sweeping it on the floor, on the, under the carpet, like, I'm very busy. No, 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 no. He has to work out. So, there is this scripture about how Eli died. Eli in the scripture that we know, yes. The judge of Israel. There is this scripture about how he died that you need to read with me to understand one of these reasons why he died the way he died. First Samuel 4 18. And it came to pass when he made mention of the ark of God that he fell off the seat from backward by the side of the gate, and his neck brake, and he died, for he was an old man and heavy. And he had judged Israel forty years. My point of emphasis is, for he was an old man and heavy. That's King James Version. It may not give you a full breadth of understanding of what I'm trying to portray here. But then if you go to New, Liv New Living Translation, you will see it fully explained. He said, he broke his neck and died, for he was old and overweight. He was old and overweight. This is you know, probably one of the only places you will see that an old man is overweight. Even in the contemporary world, it will, very, it will be very hard for you to see an old man that is overweight. So it is either you want to be overweight and then wait for when you are called home, or you shed off your weight and extend your life a little more longer. So the scripture in 1 Samuel 4, 18 told us that this is one of the primary reasons why Eli died. He got a news, a shocking news. He fell off the seat, broke his neck, and he died. He's not supposed to die. It is not his time of death. He's not, he's not supposed to die from the uh, chronology of things. But then, one of the reasons why he died is that he was overweight. If overweight did not contribute to his death, the Bible wouldn't have mentioned it. I'm very sure, yes. Is inspired by God. For God to inspire them to write and put overweight, it means overweight is one of the reasons why he died. Yes, we need to pay attention to this aspect. Working out. Taking care of your body. Robert Lyadon, in his book, God's Generals, he pointed out something, that most of the healing evangelists died because of sickness. Maybe, probably, because of the fact 
that they believed so much in spiritual healing and neglected going to hospital, doing some checkups and all the rest. Oh, but that's not my point. My point is this. You need not neglect physical exercise. It profits little. That little profit, you need it. In this other video, you see Apostle Sermon describing something about his gym instructor. That is to tell you that he gyms. He even have a gym in his home. Just listen to it. You will understand better. You know, I was going to build a, a gym just for fitness. And um, <laughs> don't laugh. You've not even heard the story. It will make me always look like a, I'm a comedian. Listen. Do you know that I now said they should look for a gym instructor, a coach for me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they went and brought one fine young man who really respects and honors me. I was inside when they said he had arrived. I said, okay, let him just go to the gym and wait for me there. When he went there and I saw the guy, I said, did I tell you people I want to box and learn? This guy was built and looking like he could pick me. I said, what is he here for? To build me? No. It is such as you have that you give. I'm not interested. No, no way. That's not my assignment. It's not in the blueprint of my destiny. My assignment is just to be healthy. Any other thing greater than my strength, I depend on the Holy Spirit and military people. Thank God he has surrounded me with so many generals. They can help me. Ah, that gentleman was built. He now showed me videos of him doing exercises. He was using chains. Chains. Apart from the devil, we see that obesity is one of the health threats facing so many people. You know, they cannot hold themselves. Too much eating. Some actually health conditions, you know, that you don't attribute to eating or irregular food lifestyle. But no, for those who... 70 80 percent that is actually attributed to this we are here to address it you need to take good care of yourself you need to hit the gym you need to you know for truth god created in us both a need for food and the capacity to enjoy the pleasure that food brings we have bible stories like you know jesus feeding five thousand people the wedding at cana the last supper all these centers on food and celebrations involving food. But do you know where the problem comes? The problem comes when we overfeed ourselves and allow our lust for food to control our hammers. The Bible condemns overindulgence in two minutes. It says too much of everything is bad. Proverbs 23 verse 20 to 21, it says, Don't associate yourself with those who drink too much. Those who gorge themselves some meat, those who involve excessively on eating. For the drunkard and gluttony, they all become poor. You know, poverty in this essence may not just be poverty of cash or so, it may be poverty of health, it may be poor in health. Obesity is actually poor stewardship of the body. Yes, if you are not taking good care of your body, it results to obesity. It's poor stewardship. I want to use that Bible term, stewardship, so that you understand. If you're not taking good care of your body, it leads to obesity. God no, does not want any of his child to die sick, <laughs> let alone his pastors, let alone his ministers. No, he doesn't want anybody to die sick. And even if you're dying sick, it shouldn't be obesity. It shouldn't be because you don't have time, you don't want to work out. I, I've seen, if you know, the clips playing all around, you will see, you will see so many different pastors working out, you know. Some may not want to share their videos of their workout, but you, if you hear them minister, you will see them talking about this. They engage in workout sessions. They go to the gym often to collect that profit that bodily exercise gives. There are actually reasons why people become obese. You know, one of them is schedules. Some doesn't have good schedule. They don't schedule their life well, you know, from here to there. You just got called for a program, you know, just keep running here and there. Before you know, you've spent four or five days without thinking about your body. The body is actually what is carrying your spirit. The body is what is carrying your engine. If the body goes up, packs up, your spirit wouldn't be doing anything. So you need to make sure that in your schedule, you need to add up 
time for your workout. Add up time. You, you must not be going to the gym. It's not a must. But there are some exercises you do. Yes. That will help make your body fit. Another reason is actually some of these lunch meetings. You know, people are just being called for lunch. And when you get there, you just see different assorted types of food. Foods that you necessarily you wouldn't want to just pick up and eat. But because it's a free lunch, you know, you start diverging. Eating these things may not actually be bad in themselves. But because you don't have the time to work it out, to let your body burn these fats out, it now becomes a, a, a big issue to your health. It now becomes a big issue fighting the organs of your body. There is also laziness. This is one of the biggest, this is one of the big factors. This is one of the, some people are lazy. They are lazy. They don't want to, they are lazy. You know, having excuses, you know, you can use excuses to cover up the, but it's laziness. You know, you know, you know, you can hit that gym. You know, you can step out before you get to your estate gate. You need to trek. You can actually tell your driver, please drop me somewhere. I will not have to trek the next two kilometers down to my house. You need to Put yourself off. You need to stand up. Do something about it. Now that you have the time, the time will come, you may not even have that time. You may not be able to gather enough strength for this. But now, as you are hearing this, hit it up. Today, you can start today. Don't even wait till tomorrow. You can start today. You can take a walk around your estate. You can go and register in the gym. It doesn't cost you much. But just to get, let your body keep fit. Just to keep your body fit. Another primary reason why people become obese is actually gluttony, work hard reward mentality. You know, there are some people that they are working in good companies where they give them food morning, afternoon, and night. And because they are working, immediately they, at the sight of food, they don't want to care. They are diving it. They are picking it. They are grouching it. Some, uh, you know, as a minister, they, you know, they just bring you food on based on hospitality. You are diving because you know you've worked hard. You've taken enough time, hours, prayed did this, did the other one, worked for the company. At the sight of food, you dive it. You know, you are taking the food as a reward for the work you did. You are taking the food as a reward for what you have actually done. There is nothing bad in eating. I've said it before, I'm saying it again. There is nothing bad in eating. You can eat a whole drum of food, but then hope you will have the time to stand up and work it out. The scripture says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. You need to work it out. It's not what you say out. It's not what you speak out. It's not what you think out. You need to work it out. Apostle Paul said, I put my body under subjection. Yes. He's the one that said bodily exercise profitability. He said, I put my body under subjection. It means that he works out. So to you watching this video, I leave you with a question. Please, we need your advice. What else do you think we can do? What else do you think those who are best can do to help themselves to work out and get their body fit. Please drop it in the comment section. Thank you. Yes, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.